AI will pretty much touch everything we do. Think about AI for a long time. So all the things that AI can do, what can it do? Hello everyone. By the title of this video, you must be already aware of the topic data science versus AI engineering. In this video, I'll try to clarify your doubt around this topic. With the ongoing evolution of AI and generative AI, a lot of things are changing really, really fast. Data science jobs are decreasing and AI engineering jobs are increasing and people want to quickly get into this field of AI and generative AI. But here's the big question. Is it even possible for a newbie or a beginner to get into the field of AI or generative AI really fast? Let's get into this. Just to let you know that these are completely my views and I come with the 13 years of industrial experience around data science and AI and you can trust me on this. If you want to become a data scientist or AI engineer in 2025, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to watch each and every comment very carefully. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe and let's get into this video. All right, let's jump into data science and AI engineering. This sounds similar, but they are splitting apart really fast. Data science jobs, they are not gone, but they are drastically decreasing. And on the contrary, AI engineering jobs are increasing. But what exactly is the difference between data science and AI engineering? Here's the thing, back in the days, four to five years back, data science and AI engineering job roles were pretty much similar. The career path was pretty much similar. You get started with some programming, learn SQL, bit of machine learning, and you're good. They don't want solid workers. They want superstars. They want rock stars who can play around with AI models, who can be good with AI models like predictive AI and generative AI. And apart from that, they need people to be proficient in the deployment part, in the automation part. So pretty much companies are expecting people to have combination of both data science and engineering knowledge in the AI engineering domain. So let's talk about the differences. Traditionally, when you talk about a data scientist, data scientist usually is somebody who understands the business problem, who wants a particular task to be prioritized, get started with it, with the data collection part, data preparation part, then start working on models, whether it is a machine learning model, NLP model, or like a deep learning model, and then they eventually process the models and create it. And guess what? There are data engineers who support data scientists in every company for the productionizing part, for the deployment part, for the automations part into their ETL pipelines. But in 2025, things are changing rapidly. Data science jobs are decreasing, AI jobs are increasing, and that is just because of the crazy term AI. AI is drastically changing everybody's aspects about how to tackle projects and how to tackle tasks. Companies these days are expecting somebody who, is, who was a data scientist, but renamed into AI engineering, who should be good with his data science tasks, model building part, and also the deployment part. So as an AI engineer, the expectation that is that you should be aware of the data science processes, about the model building processes, and also the deployment processes. You should be fast enough to create models with the help of AI tools like ChatGPT, Grok, or various other large language models, and create a model and deploy it. So definitely, apart from Python, you should also be aware of various other programming languages. But when it comes to career path of data science and AI engineering, the career path is pretty much same. You still have to go through Python, SQL, statistics, EDA, machine learning, deep learning, generative AI transformers, and then work on projects. Now the bigger question is, can anybody become an AI engineer without working on machine learning or deep learning? Well, the answer is yes and no. Because if you want to learn generative AI, if you want to learn how large language models work, what is the background architecture of GPT models, background architecture of various other large language models, how does a chatbot work, how does it deploy it? Well, machine learning and deep learning knowledge is not required just for learning purposes. But when you want to make yourself available for the companies, you want to switch jobs, you cannot, cannot really get jobs 
just with generative AI knowledge or just with Python and generative AI knowledge, you should definitely take the same career path that a data scientist should take. You should have a knowledge on machine learning. You should have a knowledge on deep learning. You should have a knowledge on natural language processing. Every core concept should already be aware. Like you should be already aware of these core concepts. Because imagine a scenario, you join a company as a generative AI engineer. The company's expectation is that this person knows generative AI. He can put models into production really quickly. And on the other hand, there is also an expectation that this person should already know predictive AI. In case they want to give you some predictive AI use cases, it sh there should not be a scenario where you can tell, oh, I don't know ML, I don't know DL, right? That puts a bad impression. So talking about that topic again, learning purposes, yes, you can skip certain modules, directly jump into generative AI, start working on LLM models, drag models, fine tune them, do some evaluation, put it into production really fast. Deployments could happen on any of these on premises or on cloud. But if you want to switch your career into AI engineering or into Gen AI engineering roles, definitely you should need machine learning, deep learning and natural language processing. So basically there is no such difference, but as the companies are moving towards AI, 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 that's why the number of jobs in data science are decreasing and AI engineering jobs are increasing. So in case you want to become an AI engineer in 2025, then buckle up, start learning what the data scientists usually study in the past, Python, EDA, Stat, SQL, Machine Learning, Deep Learning, Natural Language Processing, Transformers, Generative AI, and then also be programmatically aware of other languages like Spark, uh, like PySpark and HTML, CSS, little bit in bits and pieces. Now talking about where to get started with, to learn Generative AI or AI in 2025, to get into this domain, what you need is start with the basics, Python, SQL, EDA stats, and then jump into machine learning, natural language processing, time series analysis, forecasting, deep learning, generative AI, and transformers. And how to get started with? I have a dedicated program for that, which is called as a data science and AI master's program. Available in both formats, I have the Udemy version, and I have my own version, which is available on JEP Analytics. Both are at different price points. Udemy will be around 300 to 500 range depending on what devices you are using and on my platform it will be like 5999 but I can give you a 1000 rupees coupon code where you can avail this same course at 4999. Now to question the answer that some of you might be thinking the program is available on this and this what is the difference? The difference is what we provide on top of the courses. We provide 24x7 chat support multiple one-on-one -on -one sessions, resume preparation sessions, interview preparation sessions, mock interviews, and various other tips and tricks that will make your life easier and help you transition faster. On Udemy, as the price point is lower, when you pay 500, I get 180, and there is nothing like dedicated help that I can provide, but I still help my Udemy students without uh, considering the fact that they are my Udemy students and that is one of the reasons I have also provided my WhatsApp number openly on Udemy as well. I help them but very limited help but on my own platform if you take the program for to become a data scientist or an AI engineer I give dedicated support. That's all about it. I hope your understanding on this topic is clarified in case you want to jump I will definitely recommend AI engineering profile or uh, generative AI engineering profile because there are more jobs around that and there are ways to tweak your current resume so that it can fit into the job description of where you're applying for. That's it. In the next video, we shall also be talking about another important topic, which is data analysts versus AI engineering, which roles are more important, especially in this year and in the coming next couple of years, which career path is more preferable. We'll talk about that, but that's all about this particular video. I hope you enjoyed. In case you did, like, share and subscribe the channel and see you in the next video.